the material we've developed will give us something that can carry mechanical load, it's a structural material, but it also allows us to store electrical energy, so it will act like a battery or a supercapacitor within any electrical device. And we've done that by taking a conventional composite material, taking carbon fibres which are woven together into a, a cloth, putting a layer of glass in between which separates those electrodes and infusing a resin into that to make a structural material that also provides electrical energy and stores electrical energy. So at the start of the project in January 2010, uh, we were able to demonstrate that we had a material that could store electrical energy and carry mechanical load. So this, for instance, is the, the type of material we developed. It's connected to um, a little device here which allows us to charge the device. And so that's now taking the battery in here, putting electrical energy into the, the device. And then by flicking it across, we can discharge it and it lights the LED. We've taken our technology and applied that to um, a particular application, automotive application. The interest in the automotive field is that by reducing the weight of the car, you can massively improve the range of the car. Halving the weight of the car doubles the range of the car. So choosing a material that does these two things simultaneously, stores energy that drives the car and also carries the mechanical load in the car, was seen as a real benefit for Volvo. Uh, who are interested in particularly in this technology. And just to really to illustrate how it could be used, and this is one of the many uh, concepts that could be looked at, we've taken the roof of a car and we're putting our composite laminate onto that as, as shown here. And in this demonstrator, there are no batteries in this, this car. So by using the battery that's in the charger, we can charge the device up as, as shown here. But once it's charged, we just disconnect it and just by pressing the buttons there, we can see that we light the LEDs. The next level of where we're taking this is to go from these flat structures to looking at the effect of curvature and designing more realistic structures from this. So we're working with a high-performance car company, uh, looking at making components using our material. And, and this is an example of such a component that we've made. So here we're looking at having a structure that's highly curved, and demonstrating the material can still achieve what we're looking for. And this is quite a challenging structure to have made. Uh, there's a high degree of curvature in here, but we're still able to demonstrate that the material is able to store electricity. The challenge for, throughout this project has been to make a material that simultaneously stores electrical energy and gives good mechanical properties. And that's always been a big hurdle that we've had, but we've now made a very big breakthrough. We've developed a very new material which gives us both those things at the same time. So we're now able to store large amounts of electrical energy, but also get good mechanical properties with this new material. This technology is now very mature. We've got to a point where there's a wide range of applications we can apply this to. So ranging from structures for unmanned aircraft or um, for things like military drones, etc., to applications like casings for iPads or iPhones, safety devices, essentially anything where you need to store electrical energy and carry mechanical load. And uh, we're very excited about this. It's it's fantastic new range of problems that we're having to think about and really unearthing new ground in materials development.